Good morning, Air Signs, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay. So, Air Signs, I like to just give you more of a, rom a romantic reading, but I like to communicate basically whatever that comes out. Um, I'm going to be using oracle cards today, and basically, I'm going to be communicating to you messages from your ancestors okay as well as your uh, other revered deities you know who surround you here okay rest assured air signs that this reading may not and will not resonate for each and every one of you out there but for those for whom this reading is meant i certainly hope it offers you the information that will help you ascertain your best path your best path for this reading is valid from now until the end of next month. So I'm going to go on and just shuffle up here and I'm going to get some indications of what your ancestors would like to share with you, okay? So, spirit, ancestors, I ask that you come forth and share the message that you would have for air signs, particularly this time period in question from now until the end of the uh, of next month and I'd like you to share messages regarding not only romance but also financial okay into a career all right so let's see what we have here ladies and gentlemen let's start off by just looking at the cards that fell to the bottom of the deck here all right I'm gonna select two we have Allah and we have March JG okay and this is all about grief and manifestation, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So combining those two cards together, that kind of shows me that, you know, something indeed magical is about to happen to you, you know, for you guys. But it's time that you take some time to surrender tears and grief, okay? It looks like many of you are still clinging to painful memories. And you want to avoid it, but you can't. So I'm, you know, I'm sensing that you're still um, kind of in the doldrums regarding some a breakup or it could be loss of employment or even loss of a loved one here. But it's time that you forgive and let go here. I'm kind of getting here. All right. And then along with having this manifestation card here that connects with grief, it certainly shows that you do have great manifestation abilities and you could change your life magically should you wish so it's just time for you to get out of your your rut air signs that i'm feeling here okay so let's meet your great ancestor here and see what message that he or she may have for you you have marie Levu. okay this is all about good juju ladies and gentlemen so this is certainly a very very positive card this is a voodoo queen here so this card certainly says that luck and abundance surrounds you. This voodoo queen is standing before you to let you know that it's time that you accept your divine inheritance, divine prosperity, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, isn't that nice to know? All right. So let's move on and see what you might need to know from this ancestor to see what another answer she might have for you. We have... Mami Wata, okay? And this is all about nakedness here, okay? It connects with water, all right? So this card is telling you that it is time. Your ancestors want you to speak your truth. Be authentic. Keep it real, ladies and gentlemen. Be transparent in all of your actions, okay? Don't bottle up your true feelings. Be courageous and stop trying to please people, ladies and gentlemen. It's time that you please yourself once and for all right all right so let's move right along and look at what ancestors ancestral patterns perhaps that you might need to be aware of particularly during this time period in question here all right you have ESET. this is all about ladies and gentlemen surrendering all right and it connects with the high priestess so what's important that you should embrace now is to embrace more of your intuition here and stop ignoring it. 
then you have to let go and let God. Surrender your need to control situations, ladies and gentlemen, and have faith, okay? You are exactly where you need to be exactly at this time here, okay? Particularly in your evolution. So let's move right along and see where you might be blocked, ladies and gentlemen, okay? We have Abal Nimba, okay? This is all about harvest, okay? And to me, it connects with the high priestess here. So although this is a very positive vibration type card or just indicating to you that positive vibrations are, in fact, on the way, okay? I feel that you are, in fact, blocking your success, ladies and gentlemen, when you what? When you're not surrendering and when you're not trusting your intuition, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important here. Stop second guessing yourself. Okay, so therefore, it's time once again that, again, I can't stress it enough, you trust your intuitive properties and embrace change. So you might ask, how can you evolve? Let's see. All right, we have a Asasi. Yeah, this is all about joy here. So this card is telling you that being thankful about what you presently have and really taking time out to have fun and to embrace more self-love are key to evolving, you know, are key to kind of getting you out of this doldrum type uh, pitiful state that many of you seem to be in, okay? So what do you need most or what 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 is it that these spirits really want you to know most, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I'm going to go on and select two cards here to kind of give you some indication of what they would want you to do. All right. We have Yasiji. This is all about living out loud, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And you have Mami Koamba Bang. This is all about speaking up. All right. So combining those two cards together, that seems to suggest to me, ladies and gentlemen, that they want you to, you know, because Yasiji, she's a party guard. So she wants you to live out loud. Do something unique. Be authentic. Dare to be different, air sign. And, and speak up for yourself. All right? And then when you have the, uh, you have the number 31 here. So three plus one is four. That connects with the emperor, right? So for some of you, it may be time that you take leadership. You have the ability, air sign, to accomplish whatever it is that you want. But try not to be a bit too overbearing or allow someone to do this to you. All right? And then we have this Mommy Kuyamba bang here. And we have 33 there. And 3 plus 3, what that adds? That adds up to 6. That connects to the lover's card. So it seems that many of you can certainly have to, you're going to be tempted and you're going to have to make a crucial decision I'm getting between, it looks like a fire and air sign that I'm seeing strongly here, okay? So that's what I see here in terms of what your ancestors would like to communicate to you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on and select a few letters to see since this is clearly talking about your romantic situation as well as it showed you that abundance is certainly on its way. Let's see what who is in fact romantically or the, the people involved in this uh, reading connected romantically, okay? I'm going to only pull 20 letters from this bag of 200 letters to help you identify the connection here. And it also might be this person that you're kind of still clinging to or you're just having these you know, you just can't sit, you can't let go. I'm kind of getting here. So let's see again the people surrounding this reading. Okay. Let's see what we have. We have a V. Okay. An O. A Y. This is a very good reading air sign. I'm happy to see it myself. <laughs> An E. We have another E. We have an I. Well, and another damn E. Okay, let me stop. We have an A. 
W and A. Let's see how many letters we have. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's going to select ten more letters, air sign, to help us identify the people surrounding or connected with this energy that our ancestors would like us to know. Ten more letters. All right, that's three, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's see our remaining letters. We have a P, an S, a D, an N, an O, another a T, I'm sorry, an L, a G, a T. And last but not least, an R. All right, so let me go on and just call back these letters just to ensure that you all have these letters. Okay, we have three E's. There's one R, one A, I'm sorry, two A's, one W. Okay, two T's, an I, two O's, Y, D, P, N, G, L, V, and last but not least, an S. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to go on and just give you a few more messages here on a few things that you might want to consider also, you know, surrendering as you move forward as well here. So Spirit, I like to, you know, shuffle these cards here just to give you a few more messages before closing. So what additional things might Air Sign consider surrendering moving forward, particularly during this time period in question? Okay. It's time that you surrender to Spirit as the reading has already indicated. You need to trust your intuition a bit more. And ladies and gentlemen, rest assured that once you've done everything that you can do to really achieve a goal, you just simply have to turn over the situation to the divine and let spirit work its magic for you. Okay? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. It's time that you listen a bit more closely to the, your body's messages, particularly about a person or even a situation. And if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, then move forward with the decision that you would like to make. All right. And last but not least with these cards, it's time that you surrender your attachments to results. Because the formula for success is to do all you can to really make things happen. Then simply let go of the results here. Because holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can certainly sabotage it and usually it does all right so in conclusion today air signs i'd just like to leave you with one of my um, postcards a message that's intended specifically for you all right so what final message spirit would you like me to share with air signs okay what final message and give me a good one <laughs> what final message let's see all right let's select this card here all right. Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many movements of synchronicity with all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities, and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up. But it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, when they will show up, and what they will do for you. All of that is in our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and 
what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. If you only knew how much you were loved. <sighs> okay? So, air sign, this is a very empowering, empowering reading. Okay? I am happy to have done this. All right? <laughs> okay? So, be sure to like and share. Subscribe if you've yet to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, if you like a more personal reading, you can certainly contact me at will.brown at wetconsultinginc.net. Enjoy your day, and I certainly look forward to hearing your comments. Bye-bye.